we're going to draft an article about men's bid care, thousand words, informative tone, and importantly, it should be written like a human would write. So let's see what happens. All right, amazing. Our article has been drafted. Let's see if it has followed our instructions. So I'm just going to copy a couple of paragraphs here. Copy. We're going to go over to this tool here. It's called Undetectable AI. And let's check it. Okay, big red flags here. It says that this has basically been written by AI. And we'll also check this on Quillbot because it uses a different algorithm to check for AI and whether it's been written by a human or not. So let's just check it on here. And it's saying 88% likely generated by AI. So what I'm trying to demonstrate here is that when you ask AI to write content that is not written by AI, it really struggles to do this. In fact, you can do this over and over again, and you're going to get the same result. It always comes up as AI. But there is another way to do this. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Subscribers to this channel have a passion for SEO and staying ahead of the curve. Let's get into it. Okay, so there are a few tools out there that can generate humanized content or claim they do, and also content that's not detectable as AI. Today, we're going to be using Sigma SEO to demonstrate this. And I'm also going to tell you the number one issue that causes content that people generate to be flagged as AI. And make sure you do not do this because your content actually may be okay and you're getting a false positive. Okay, so I've just logged in now and I've gone to the tool here called Stealth. Stealth Writer can generate content that's humanized. In most cases, it is not detected as AI if you follow these instructions. So just to keep things apples with apples, I'll type in for the blog title, Men's Beard Care. For the language, we'll stay with English. For the tone, we'll stay as informative. US Canada as our audience region. The AI detection avoidance level. For this example, I'm going to take it up a notch and go to high. In most cases, standard is okay. Stick with a mixed perspective. The domain, we'll go to health. Complexity, I'll just leave this as moderate. And for the format, take note of this. I'm actually going to select plain text. I'll include the FAQ and meta uh, data suggestions as well, just so you can see what the output is. All right, let's submit that. Okay, our article has been generated. Let's scroll down a bit. Now, before I copy and paste it, there's a couple of things I want to point out based on some feedback I've had in a previous video. Does this content read well? Does it actually, does it read like it's been all messed up to just avoid a AI checker? So let's take a look, right? A gentleman's guide to beard perfection. Growing a beard goes way beyond just making a fashion statement. It's a slice of a dude's identity. Today's beard trend isn't just about letting it grow wild. It's about blending art and maintenance to shape a beard that's straight up impressive. Now, I'm going to stop there. I'm not a very good reader, but to me, that reads pretty well. That doesn't read like some computers mixed all the words up, made a mess of it just to pass an AI test. But hey, you can check this for yourself. I'm going to take a copy just like we did uh, with when ChatGPT generated it. So again, just a few paragraphs. I'm going to copy that now. I'm not going to edit or change any of this. It is what it is. So hopefully it does what I think it's going to do. But honestly, you just never know. So I'm going to paste it in here and we'll check it for AI. Okay, content appears human across all the detection tools down here. But we can check it again ac across the likes of Coolbot just to see what it says. And it is typically seems to have a different algorithm, can give varied results, but we'll check it out. Okay, so here's Coolbot. It's totally free. You can just paste your text in. So I'll do this again and we'll see what happens. Analyze the text. It's finished. 0% is likely to be generated as AI. So not only does it read as though it's written by a human, it also passes the AI generated test and it also passes plagiarism tests. Now, it hasn't been developed so you can do your PhD or your thesis and get past it. Harvard, it's written so it is better content. It reads well. And if you're concerned about AI, it will pass. So Sigma SEO has been around a while based on some user feedback of some varying results in terms of AI detection or humanization of content. There was some 
additional investigation done into why these variations could be happening. So I'm just going to rerun this article. We're going to use all the same parameters, but when we get down here to the format, previously we did it as plain text. This time we're going to generate it as markdown. So I'm just going to generate this and I will show you something. So Sigma's generated our article. Here is, here is the interesting thing. Markdown is like a coding language. If you write in Markdown, that text can be converted to HTML and vice versa. Now, no media outlet, no publisher, no blogs are published in Markdown. It is converted and that's how it's rendered. So if you just copy and paste the Markdown output and put it into detection uh, checkers, AI detectors, you can get very different results. So convert it to plain text before you test it. I hope you've got some value from this video. If you did, consider giving it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.